Hey YouTube, I'm Abby Shelton with Deviant Racing and we're about to get into a YouTube series on my Bronco Raptor. We are going to be tearing this thing apart and putting all sorts of parts on it. This is the stock bumper for the Bronco Raptor that we will be removing and we will be replacing it with the Addictive Desert Designs Bomber front and rear bumper with a Baja Designs light package. To begin this video, we're gonna start with the rear bumper. So first step is to unclip the wiring harness from the passenger and driver side. You just push down on the top and it pulls right out. Next step is to remove the tow hooks. So here you're gonna take an 18 millimeter socket and you can keep these bolts and tow hooks for install later if you would like. We did not reinstall them. After you've removed the tow hooks, you're gonna remove the mounting bolt bracket. This is a 13 millimeter socket and the final step before you can remove the bumper. We had to open the rear gate in order to get the bumper off, but be careful because it drops. Josh almost killed me. Next, you're gonna remove the middle metal cover using a 13 millimeter socket. This will expose the wiring harness and all of the sensors. You kind of have to tug on it and there's these little plastic clips that we popped off with a plastic pry bar. And then after you've removed that cover, you can start removing the sensors and you'll kind of pull apart on the bezels, but be careful because you need to use these later, so don't damage them. You have to unclip the wiring harness from the license plate. This was tougher and we used pliers to get that off. Once you've got the wiring harness fully removed, you'll use an eight millimeter socket to remove the license plate. And this is the final piece that you'll remove from your old bumper. To begin the install of your rear bumper, you will use the supplied mounting brackets and the stock hardware that you removed earlier. Install the three quarter inch bolt washers and nylon lock nuts using a one eighth socket and a one sixteenth wrench. Then you'll install your wiring harness. I like to clean it up, remove all the plastic tabs, all the extra wrap, that way it just goes on a lot cleaner. Make sure to line it up exactly how you removed it. Your sensors will need to go in the same direction. You can file down your sensors if the tabs are preventing them from locking into place. You really just want a good clean fit. Now you can install your lights. We use the Baja Design Squadron Pros driving combos on the front and the rear. When you install these, make sure that you take the metal bracket and put the attachment bolt at the bottom in first. Then you'll put the light on and start screwing in the bolts on the sides. These are your directional tilt, so you may adjust these a little bit more after you have it installed. You'll need to install the provided nut clips into the slots where the mounting plate will go. These are a little tricky to get snapped into place, so we used a pair of pliers. You'll use the two half inch button head bolts, washers and nylon lock nuts and a 5 16 Allen wrench and a three quarter wrench to install the bumper. To install the license plate bracket, you'll start with the rubber bumpers that go on the rear facing your vehicle. These protect the license plate from rubbing against your paint. You'll use a 5 16 lock nut and flat washer. You'll use a half inch wrench to secure these. After you've got the bumper situated like you like it, you can plug in your wiring harness on both the driver and passenger sides. Now that the rear bumper is done, we're gonna to move to the front. 
When I first got this Bronco Raptor, I actually swapped the front tow hook covers with my original Bronco, so these are much shorter. Either way, you will start with removing the push pins, and then you'll use a 15 millimeter socket to remove the bolts from both the skid plate and the tow hooks. Once the bolts are out of the tow hooks, you can remove the entire front bumper. Make sure to unclip the wiring harness before you remove the bumper. We forgot this step. Once you have the front bumper removed, you're gonna wanna take off the plastic covers on either side using a fastener remover or a flathead. Next, you're gonna wanna remove the bolts holding the light brackets using a T30. Then you're gonna use a 10 millimeter socket to remove the tow hook bracket. You'll also need to remove the five bolts holding the middle plate using a T40. After you have all the bolts removed, you can go ahead and remove the wiring harness by disconnecting the sensors from the bezels. Remember, you're going to need to reuse these, so make sure you remember the orientation. We take photos and then be very careful when you um, pull these out so that you don't break them. Actually, the first thing I'm gonna do is take out this bracket that's gonna hold the Baja lights. That'll give me access to feed the sensors through the bumper. So I'm using a 732nd, whatever this is. Allen? I think it's an Allen. reinstalling it and then also I think I can now feed the sensors through the bumper. Before you route the wiring harness through the bumper you'll want to remove all the extra plastic. Then you'll need to route the wiring harness exactly how you removed it. It can be pretty frustrating to figure out if you don't have photos to reference. Routing this harness through here we like to use these little um, sticky pads that you put the zip ties through. It helps to hold the wire in place so that when you put the lights in and everything and you go to install the bumper, it doesn't fall down into the line of sight. So it just really tucks away the wiring harness. The other thing that they say to do, which we found we had to do on both the front and the rear, is to cut off the little pieces on the side of the sensor. This helps it clip in place. This is just a little thicker than the factory one. So much easier just to cut those off. To install your Baja Squadron Pros, you'll start with the metal bracket that goes on the bottom. Make sure that it is facing the correct direction and you'll put in the bottom bolt first. To tighten the bolt on the light bracket, you'll need a 9 16th wrench. To install the Baja Designs LP4s, they'll be very similar to your Squadron Pros. You'll start with the metal bracket with the bottom bolt and then move to the side. After you get your LP4s assembled, then you can attach all three lights to the bottom bracket and reinstall it into the bumper.
After removing the front bumper, you will have access to the cruise control device. There is a plastic cover that protects the cruise control that you will pull off. After the cover has been pulled off, disconnect it from the wiring harness, which will allow you to pull out the cruise control device. After you have removed the rubber gaskets from the three areas, there will be provided spacers. So there's going to be one that goes on the back and one that goes on the front. You'll use the provided 3 8 inch hardware for this. After the cruise control device has been installed on the mounting bracket, you will install the bracket onto the metal plate. You will need to remove the four bolts that are eight millimeters at the top of the inner grill and then disconnect two plugs, one on each side. Then there are nine clips that you'll need to pop out before you can remove the radiator shroud. Then you'll need to take off the front valence by pulling on it. There's clips holding this in, so you'll have to pull pretty hard. Then you can remove the front grill to get to the headlights. There are two screws on the top of each headlight and one at the bottom. These are 10 millimeter screws and you'll need to remove those to remove the headlight. There's also one plastic clip on each headlight that you'll need to pop off. After you take the headlights out, you'll gain access to four bolts that hold on the inner grill, two on each side. Once you have the inner grill removed, you're going to want to take out two of the fins to make space for your adaptive cruise control. And you'll need to cut out the top section that's right above the two fins. Next, you'll need to free the wire by pulling on the plastic tabs that hold it in place. You'll need to unravel the tape and cut back the wiring so that you have enough length to reach the new relocated device. We went ahead and cut the tape all the way back to split these into two. That way we would have plenty of room to relocate. You can now reinstall the inner grill and make sure you pay attention to where the wire is because you'll need to plug it back into the cruise control device. Now you can just reverse all of the steps that you did previously and then it's time to add the bumper. To reinstall the bumper, you'll use the six 3 8 hex head bolts and washers and you'll need a 9 16 socket and wrench. The final step is to reinstall the skid plate using your original mounting hardware and mounting holes. And this one was a 15 millimeter sock. After you get the bumper secured, you'll need to connect the wiring harness.
For this, we created a wiring harness that tied back into the OEM switches. We used the online manual that showed which switch connects to which wire. For this one, we are doing the blue and the orange wire, but you'll, it'll really depend on which switch you wanna use for which lights. We took the wire and measured the full length, cut it, and then started to braid and wrap in ray cam. This just protects the wire from any damage. After we get it all wrapped, then we reinstall, attach the grounding wire, and plug everything in. And that's it for the bumper install. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe to watch the rest of our Bronco Raptor build.